Lady Hecate, I have heard news from Princess Makiria that there is going to be a mortal coming through here in just a short time. Is there anything I should do to prep before the mortal arrives before our king and queen? No, no. It is all right, Cersei. Everything is being handled right away. There's nothing you need to worry about. Oh, good. I am so glad, my lady. If there is anything you need from me, um, I will be, um, returning to the dock to greet the princess. Excellent, Lady Cersei. I will see you in the throne room with our king and queen later. Yes, my lady. Farewell. Oh! My apologies, I'm so so... Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing here? You are not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be with the princess. Where's the princess? What did you do with the princess? Did you hurt the princess? You got lost. Oh. My apologies, I did not realize that. I am so sorry. Um... Was the princess walking a little too fast for your pace? I'm so sorry that sounds so awkward. I don't know how you mortals really function compared to us um, higher beings. Um, I am Lady Cersei. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, right, you are lost. Um... The princess probably was taking you to the, uh, throne room, as she should have been. Um, um, let me, um, see if I can, uh, figure out where the princess has gone. Um, this will just give me a moment. I'm kind of, uh, magically inclined, as they say. You don't know who I am. Well, I am Lady Cersei. I am a, uh, goddess of magic. I am a servant to Lady Hecate, another goddess of magic and witchcraft. You've probably heard of her. She is a, uh, titaness. Like, um, Metis, or Rhea, or... Kronos. But we don't talk about Kronos here. No, no, no. We don't talk about him. Any other title we will talk about, but Kronos is a no-no. Well, I do serve the Lady Titaness Hecate as a magical goddess in training. I also have a love for herbs and animals, and my father is a uh, Helenos, so I do enjoy the sun as well. <laughs> but right, we have to find Princess Makiria. Um, where is she? Where did she go? Oh, Prince Plutos! <clears throat> Lady Circe, is that you? I can hear you. I can, uh, See your outline as well. Oh, thank goodness. Prince Pluios, I have... Have you seen your sister, Princess Makiria? No, I haven't. Is she back yet? Yes, indeed she is. Can you locate where she is? She's, uh... In the throne room with father and mother. Wasn't she supposed to bring a mortal with her? Is that the mortal standing right behind you? Yes, it is, Prince Plutos. I've learned a lot about you from my sister. And my half-sister as well. You troubled mortal. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I hope that my mother and father can make amends with you. You should probably hurry them to the throne room. Mother and father are anxiously waiting and... They think you have escaped, but I will communicate with them that you have not, and that Lady Cersei will be bringing them to the throne room, right, Lady Cersei? Yes, yes, of course, Prince Plutus. I will be doing that right away. Good, good. <clears throat> and, uh, 
do inform my sister to uh, try not to lose her prisoners next time. That's a good skill for her to know. As she will be queen of the underworld some day, and we don't need her losing things like this, do we now, Lady Cersei? Of course, of course. I must teach the princess better. I will make sure that her servants know better, too. Make sure that they're with her at all times. Oh, and by the way, if you see Lord Thanatos, Lady Hecate is looking for him. Yes, yes, he's aware. He's in the throne room now, and uh, I will remind him again of that. And if there is anything else you need, you know where to find me. Of course, of course. Well, farewell, Prince Plutos. And best wishes. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lady Cersei. Same to you. Goodbye, mortal. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yes, yes, that was Prince Plutus. He may be blind, mortal, but he is very smart and very patient. It is in fact that uh, Zeus blinded him when he was just a baby, and Lady Melanoe rescued him from Zeus's clutches without being recognized by her father or Queen Hera which is very good on her part. She has learned how to disguise herself very well for her age. But she must learn to control her temper sometimes. Lady Melanoe can be quite angry, and it is quite scary if I do say so myself. But anyways, yes. Let us get you to the throne room. The king and queen are eager to see you. And I know that the princess must be worrying about your whereabouts. So, let us away. Mortal. <laughs>